Who are you, first of all? I'm Phil Gordon. And where are we? We're at Oakley at the uh, at One Icon at our headquarters. The coolest headquarters I've ever been in. Thank you. Cool, cool. Absolutely. Design. And so what do, you, what do you have here? We're do, what, what we're doing here is a, a vacuum form sublimation. So um, we're, we're, we're putting film into direct contact with our parts and, and heating up to about 300 degrees uh, Fahrenheit and sublimating that part. So it's going from a solid to a gas back into a solid inside the part. So basically what we're doing is we're opening up the pores of the part by preheating it. So the plastic pores kind of preheat and open up. Uh, then we print onto the film with a dye dispersed ink, it heats up to a certain temperature, goes from a solid to a gas, then goes into the pores of the part, and then we close those pores back up. So we end up with a really protected coating that's scratch proof, it's UV proof, and we can customize the surface of it so you can do any graphics on it that you want. Very cool. So it took us a while to get there. We went through a lot of iterations of ink, a lot of different ink companies and things like that, but the, the final product that we came out with was, was uh, definitely worth the, the trial and error. So we came out with the printed black that matches our painted black and the color and fade that, that's just phenomenal. So that's our printed black, that's a painted black, that's a red and yellow, so. It's pretty nice. So what we're gonna do right now is, is we have the parts preheating, so we have them in the oven. In here it's just a standard convection oven, so we have the parts in here. They preheat for about four or five minutes to open up the pores of the part. Then we'll put them in this guy, which is going to vacuum form the film around it. Okay. So right now, what we'll do is we'll have you guys go over here. You can pick out the pattern that you want and customize it on the touch screen, and then it'll automatically print over here. Okay. And anybody who comes and visits you guys in the headquarters can do this? Yep, absolutely. This so is this only, is open to public? Yep. And this is the only spot we have it so far. We're actually working on minor, miniaturizing the entire process, but, but for now, this is the only spot where we have it. So. Okay. So on the touch screen, we have, we're just doing fuel cell right now. So we have the fuel cell. You can select. Fuel cell is the kind of frame it goes on. Yeah, it's the, the style of frame. And we have black, the only thing we're offering, but we're offering matter gloss. And then you can pick the different patterns that you want. And with each pattern, you can pick different colorways. So you can customize the colorways on it and then print it out. So if you guys now want to go screen through. Now, the screen is pretty cool. It's a, is this an HP Touch? Yeah, an HP Touch Smart. Um, we, just, we just wrote a simple application to run on top of it. It's tied to the back end through an XML file that ties into an XML file on the front end of the raster imaging processor that then builds the file. So no matter what you pick, it takes that and builds a file custom for what you're doing. So everything is basically a mask until you pick the color and then it builds the mask into layers, sends the, sends the final file. Very cool. All right, so we're gonna pick some out and then we'll uh, see how it works. Perfect. Okay. Do you want to get one of those? So that was uh, 15. Uh, so what's it doing when you when you uh, get it into your Windows app here? Well, one of the one of the biggest things we came up with when we started looking at custom applications and things like that is is the more we expand custom applications and the more possibilities we make we make possible. It seemed like we were going to have a room full of people doing files file setup and file prep for this kind of stuff, and that's not what we wanted to do. So what we did is we went to uh, to a really recognized software company that already did rips for printers. Onyx, and we, we proposed to them that they make middleware software for us that can sit in the middle and build the files. So so we kind of went through configurations of that, and they actually built what we wanted from that. So so they're connected together through XML, and it'll, it'll build the file for us. So there's a service that runs in the background. You start that service, and it processes the files into the RIP for you. Okay. So that way, there's no there's no middleman. We run the, the, the web version up the same way, so if you customize something on the web, it'll out automatically process to a printer in an ROCP lab and print out. So Got it. No, can you no get these over the web version. then, or, yeah, or yeah. do you have to come into the headquarters? You can do them over the web now as well, too, but okay. only with fuel cell as well. We're, we're getting ready to roll into the two new styles. We'll probably do gas can and antics will be our two new styles that we do first, okay. and then we'll roll out more styles after that. So and how long have you been doing this? Uh, we've been doing this particular style in the lobby for about six months. 
no, since, since, since yeah. August? Since yeah. August, yeah. How many people have, have had them made? Oh, we've done a ton of them. So yeah. tours that go through the building, anytime anybody comes from Italy or from Luxottica as well too, they always make them. And then this is this is a destination for people to travel to as well too, if they're yeah. coming to Southern California and they're, they're Oakley fans. So they come in and they'll have them made as well too. We've this is a pretty had, crazy headquarters. We just met the CEO who actually was the architect yeah, of this building. Yeah, he's the architect building. as well. And, yeah. and he definitely has the, the passion for it as well too. After you talk to him for a while, you can kind of see where all this stuff is conceived. I mean, there's all sorts of... From. It's like a movie set in here, and the uh, exterior is The right original there. design of this was supposed to look like uh, a gun, and then there was going to be a gun scope that sat on the side of it. So when you looked at it from outside, you would see a gun and a scope, but they kind of modified it a little bit because it's just realm of possibility, I think, more than anything else. Yeah. Hey, do you want to Hey, really quick, uh, Do I just hit, hit there and then just click here and print, right? Yep. So now it's going to print out. All right. By the time we print side, you should be okay. Okay. Thanks, Tim. And what's the material it prints on? It's a, a polyethylene, coated polyethylene. Um, and the coating, the coating uh, is is like a uh, it's a corn-based um, coating. Okay. Now HP does something similar to the lids of their laptops. Are they yeah, using the same process? Very or? similar process um, okay. from from kind of a competitive company that makes a different film and a different kind of process. It's not as accurate uh, and it's, the resolution isn't as good, um, but very cool. but very similar in in the sublimation sense of it. That they're they're using sublimation. Now, how many different frames can you print on one sheet of material? Or? On, on this sheet, we didn't worry about optimizing it because it's the lobby and, and we, it's, it's more for show and tell here. Upstairs, we print, uh, it, it's about this, this wide for two pieces and they fit exactly on the material. Here, we're just printing uh, on a large piece of material. We haven't worried about optimizing it yet. I do have the new fixtures to optimize it, but we haven't done it yet. So eventually, it will just print a piece this big. Got it. All right, and there they are. Did you guys go black and white? Or? Yeah, I thought I did. That, that's the one I printed, right? I no, you print. didn't. You printed the first one. Okay, so, so you put these guys on hold. Okay, okay. Right. Or just put it in place over the nest. Then we're going to put the nest into the vacuum heating system. There we go. part in here once once the IR lights come on you'll be able to see it and then you'll see it vacuum form as well. It heats up for I think like 30 40 seconds gets it to about 76 degrees Celsius and then it'll vacuum form it. Where's the actual material? Down on the bottom, down here. So it's the same experience, but that's Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So now that as the film and the human contact is going to heat it up until it gets to a point where it can disperse. Once it disperses, it goes from a solid to gas. Because it's in such close contact with that part, it drives it into the surface of the part. We cool it off rapidly and of course the part and close. That's what keeps it pretty tight. Huh. So yeah, see him uh, come out. Oh, that's cool. So once we take the film off. And other than being really warm, they're ready to go. There you go. Very nice. Custom printing. So they won't scratch, won't fade. 